Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today I decided to create a Rihanna inspired makeup look from the Wild Thoughts music video. And this look is just very fun and sexy. And when I saw the music video, I was like, oh my gosh, her makeup is on freaking point. Whoever her makeup artist is, like really like killed it in that music video it looks so good so i kind of wanted to recreate my own look for the music video so if you want to see how i created this fun sexy look just keep on watching all right guys so to begin this makeup look i'm going to be taking my makeup geek eyeshadow in the shade creme brulee i'm taking a sigma e35 blending brush and i'm first just going to start blending out my crease with this color just using windshield wiper motions going back and forth because since we're really going to use a lot of color in this look i want to start off first um, blending out um, lighter colors in the crease and then build it up for a more smoky look. So next going in with the Morphe 35B palette, I'm going to be taking that light orange color and basically putting this on top of the first color and just blending this away with my blending brush. So going in with a Makeup Geek eyeshadow, I'm using the shade Shimmer Shimmer. And I'm going to be placing this directly on my brow bone. And it's a nice pearly, iridescent white kind of color that I'm putting so that eyeshadow can really pop. Since we're using a lot of deep blues on the eyes, this is really going to help make the eye look stand out a little bit more. And then I'm going in with my blending brush just to kind of blend that in to the other colors I already used. So next I'm going to be taking a Rimmel London Soft Coat Eyeliner Pencil in the shade Royal Blue and I'm basically going to put this on the lower half of my eyelid and this is kind of like a teal color, kind of a base to start off with so the other colors that I apply on top of this color will kind of make it more vibrant and stand out a little bit more than just adding the regular blue colors. This is just going to help enhance the eye look a little bit more so that's what I'm doing here and then I'm kind of dragging it on my inner corner and then I'm also going to take that color and put it on my waterline so I'm pretty much taking this teal color like all over my eye because in the music video Rihanna has a nice teal kind of eye look and that is what I'm going for as well as I'm going to be using other shades to kind of blend this out so next up, I'm going to be going in with the Urban Decay Electric Palette, and I'm using the color Fringe. And before I used the color, I um, picked up some of the color and then sprayed my brush with the primer water from uh, Smashbox. And this is just going to help for the color to enhance a little bit more and stick onto that base color. And so I'm using a flat brush, and I'm just using a MAC small version of the 239, and I'm placing this and packing this on top of that other eye pencil color that we use and this is just going to help make it more um, bold and it's going to stand out a little bit more and I'm also placing this color a little bit on the um, lower lash line as well pretty much all around my eye and then here I'm kind of dragging it across kind of like making it a wing at first it looks really weird but after we blend um, with our blending brushes after we've already used the colors it will kind of come to place a little bit more so here I'm taking a just regular Morphe kind of blending brush and I've picked up some of the color of fringe again and I'm blending this in a little bit more just blending out the edges so it doesn't look so like harsh this is just gonna make the look and the eye look more smooth so that is what I'm doing here just kind of going back and forth and just kind of making it kind of like how my other eye looks just really nice and seamless Alrighty, so going in again with the 35B palette, I'm taking this like emerald shimmery shade and I'm packing this more on the outer corner of my eye. Um, this is just going to enhance it, make it a little bit more smoky. And I'm using again that 239 MAC brush and I am going kind of back and forth deepening this color. And then I'm also going in with another blending brush that we were using and blending this in towards the um, outer half of our eye and blending it outwards to the wing. 
so that is what I'm doing and I'm still packing more of that color because this is really dramatic so that is what I am going for just going in more with this color and then I'm also blending away um, so it's more smooth and then I'm also taking some more of that color onto the lower um, half of my lashes so going in again with the Urban Decay Electric Palette, I'm going in with that shade Freak, which is like a lime green shimmery shade. And I'm taking my Morphe G14 brush and I am placing this on top of that teal color that we placed before and blending this in. And it's just kind of going to give me the color I'm going for. So I'm just lining it up a little bit with um, Freak. So going in with the darkest black color in that Morphe palette, I am going to be placing that color, that black color onto that outer part of my eye using the Sigma E39 brush. And this is going to make it really smoky. So I am just pretty much placing the color and blending it. And I know it looks crazy right now. When I do looks like this, it gets really crazy. But believe me, later I will blend this in. And also I will also clean it up with my foundation too later on too. So um, this is just making it more smoky. And just really take your time with this. You don't have to be perfect. Um, you know, just take your time and the look will come together once you're finished with the makeup look. Um, I also placed a little bit of this color again on my lower half of my eye. And here I, here I am using a clean blending brush. This one is the R37 from Morphe. And I'm just blending this in. And as you can see now, it's softening up a little bit more. And then I'm going in with creme brulee again, and I'm just kind of fixing that color on top of the teal because we kind of lost it a little bit, so I'm bringing that color back. So I actually already primed my face using the Becca Backlight Priming Filter, and then I'm going to be going in with my foundation, and this one I'm going to be using is the MAC Pro Longwear Waterproof Foundation in the shade NC35. And I am just wetting my beauty blender just so it's nice and dewy going on and very natural looking. And so I really love this foundation. Um, ever since I discovered it at MAC, I fell in love. It's just a nice like everyday uh, type of foundation, but it's also really great for events too. Too, because it's long wearing so definitely uh, recommend this uh, foundation if you're looking for something new so next up I'm going to be using the NYX HD concealer and I'm in the shade sand beige and I'm going to be placing this under the eye area forehead chin nose you know the deal and this is what's going to help bring my face forward a bit and then I like to go in with my beauty blender to make it set in into place and just to blend it away. I have nothing more else to say about this concealer. I love it. It's one of my favorites. It's affordable. Definitely get on it if you haven't already. It works just as great as a high-end concealer. So this one is definitely one of my favorites. Alrighty, so you already know the deal. I'm going in with my Shade and Light Highlight and Contour Palette by Kat Von D. And I'm going in with the colors Lyric and Levitation, just mixing the two using my Morphe E8 brush. And I'm just blending away my concealer with these powders. And then I'm going to be using my MAC Give Me Sun, one of my favorite bronzers um, currently. I love it so much. It just kind of warms up the face. Perfect for summertime with a tan, definitely. And I'm also just taking a nameless Morphe brush, um, just kind of like a blending brush, and kind of just giving my face dimension and contouring with this um, bronzer color. So that is what I'm doing here. Um, on my cheekbones, on my forehead, and on my jawline. And a little bit on my nose. I like to warm up my nose a little bit with this as well. All right, moving on to blush. I'm going to be using two shades from MAC. I'm going to be using Peaches and Gingerly, mixing the two and placing this on top of the bronzer using like a blush brush or like a contour brush, anything that works really for your cheeks. And I am placing this on and it's just really going to warm up the face because in the video it seems like she has like a nice like warm kind of 
cheekbone type of look going on there it's not anything too like bright or crazy just something more for like the summertime and now moving on back to my eyes I'm curling my lashes and using one of my favorite mascaras currently is the big colossal Maybelline big shot mascara in black and I am coating my upper lash line with this and then I am also gonna go in with my Rimmel Lash Accelerator uh, for my lower lash line. I always use this, nothing new, same ordeal. And just placing this on as mascara as well too. All right, y'all, we're more than halfway done in this for this look. So next I'm going to be going in again with Makeup Geek Shimmer Shimmer Eyeshadow. And just using a flat brush, I am going to be placing this on my inner corners because I really want this to pop out. And this is just kind of exactly what the look is looking like as the video and so that is what I'm doing here and then I'm going in with my Rimmel Eye Definer Exaggerate in Black is Black of course and just lining my lower lash line with some black eyeliner. Yes, hunty, yes. All right, so going again in with that black color from the Morphe palette, I am just kind of shading in this black color on the lower lash line, deepening up the look more and just making it more smoky. So I am just pretty much coating this eyeshadow on the lower lash line. And now we are going on to my favorite part. So next up is the Makeup Forever Pro Light Fusion Highlight and I am placing this with my Anastasia Beverly Hills brush and just kind of warming up the highlight a little bit. So I'm using this first. I sprayed my brush a little bit to kind of make the highlight intense. And then next up I'm going in with my Nicole Guerrero Anastasia Beverly Hills Glow Kit Palette in Forever Lit. I'm going in with that shade because that shade, I mean honestly, if you put that shade on top of any other highlight color, it really enhances is the look for real I love it so that's what I put there and then of course I'm going in with my Agave by Beauty lip mask because my lips be dry AF all the time so I put that on first before I do my lip color and right here I am using the cherry lip liner from MAC because in the video it looks like she's wearing like a red type of lipstick so um, that's what I'm going in first um, let's do my lip liner then go in with a red lipstick so it doesn't bleed out as much so here I'm just tracing the shape of my lips um, nothing new really but I like to show this part so y'all can get an idea of that. Alright, so next up for the lip color, we're going in with Riri Ru, which was a limited edition color from MAC back then when Rihanna launched her kind of collection line. But really any red lipstick will do, even Ruby Roo from MAC, kind of like the same color here. So that is what I'm doing. I'm going in with that color and just placing that all over my lips. And then I'm also going to be taking a little bit of Lady Danger and placing it on top of the lip because I feel like in the video it kind of was like a mix between like an orange red kind of lipstick kind of thing so that's what I did there and then I just set my face with some fix plus to lock right, in the so look. after doing my hair this is the final completed makeup look for the Rihanna Wild Thoughts music video I hope you all enjoyed watching and I hope you all create this look back on yourselves at home it's Fun, it's sexy and great for a nighttime out. If you did like this, make sure you thumbs up this video, subscribe, please subscribe to my channel, and comment down below on what you thought about this. And I will see you all next time. Bye.